Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be using these four five by seven inch canvases and also this square shaped wire net that I purchased from Dollar Tree. But first things first, we're gonna take these outside to be spray painted. I'm placing all my canvases in a square shape and now I'm putting my wire net on top to give that grid look effect on top of my canvases and I'll be using my gold metallic spray paint. I'm also spray painting the entire net. Now I'm creating a mixture using this tacky glue and my silver and gold glitter. This mixture is kind of thick, so I'm gonna add in what little bit of Mod Podge that I had left. It's a little hard to see the lines with the glitter mixture over my canvas, so I'm going to use my silver sharpie to go over them. Now I'm flipping all my canvases over and then glue them together in a boxed shape. To cover up all the lines, I'm using my faux pearls that I purchased from Dollar Tree. I already cut this gold bling wrap to size and I'm just going to glue it in between the pearls. This is what I have so far. Now that this is all completed, I'm gonna put my floral foam piece inside my box and then stuff it with my flowers. And then I will be right back to show y'all the finished look. I most certainly love how project number one turned out. I just love the look of pearls and gold, but tell me what y'all think down in the comments. Now I'm using my wire net and more bling wrap and I'm gonna glue this bling wrap around the edges of the net. To glam up my net even more, I'm gonna use some of these mirror tiles that I purchased from e Faber Mart and I'm gonna start off by gluing them in an X. Now I'm continuing to glue the mirror tiles down, but I'm gluing them down in a pattern. Now I'm gonna glue these vase fillers slash gems to the center of each mirror tile. Now I'm filling in those empty spaces on my net. And then the edges. And once I was done with this step, I then had something that looked like this. I love how this unique piece turned out. It's definitely giving glam, but tell me what y'all think down in the comments. For my third and final project, I'll be using this tray that I picked up from the Goodwill a while ago. I paid about $3 for it and as you guys can see, there's no legs to this tray and also it's a little rusted out, but I'm going to get it all together. I'm going to start off by covering up all the areas I do not want spray painted. Hey. 
As y'all can see, I almost completely covered up the entire tray. I just really wanted to focus on those rust spots and I'll be covering those up with my gold metallic spray paint. Okay, so a little bit of spray paint did get on the glass, but not to worry, I have the perfect solution for that. I'll be cleaning that all up with my nail polish remover. Now I'm going to cover up the two side handles with my gold diamond wrap. So now that both side handles are covered up, I'm going to put one strip of diamond wrap along the side edges. So this is how my tray is looking so far. It looks so much better with the gold diamond wrap added. So now I'm going to flip it over to add the legs. I'll be using five pearls for each leg. Now I'm adding a gem in between each pearl. Now I'm going to glue more gems around the edges and once I was done with this step, I removed any excess glue strings, cleaned my tray off, and then I had something that looked like this. It was super simple to glam up this tray, which it can be used for perfume, jewelry, or your everyday home decor. But tell me what y'all think. Please like, comment, and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.